Hi guys, welcome. Now we will try to understand the C program for uh, linear curve fitting starting from the int main. Here I have initialized and declared some int variables some x, some y, some xy, some x2. Some x is used to store the value of summation of x, some y is used to store the value of summation of y, and some xy is used to store the value of summation xy, and some x2 is used to store the value of summation x square. And then here I have declared some arrays x and y array x is used to store the value of x and array y is used to store the value of y and here variable n is used to store the value n and i is used in further operations and here i have declared two float variables a and b these are used to store the values of a and b and next this instruction printf will print the c program for linear curve fitting and this printf will print to uh, enter the number of data pairs to be entered and this canf instruction will read the values entered by the user and uh, save it in variable int variable n and this printf will print enter the values of x and this for loop is used for uh, reading the values of x and storing them in array x initially i is initialized to 0 this for loop will be executed until i must be less than or equals to n minus 1. So, in the for loop, uh, initially i equals to 0. So, scan f x of 0 means it uh, it read the value from the user and put it in x of 0. Assume that we have entered the number of data pairs to be entered n equals to 6. And now we are reading the values for array x. So, here for uh, first iteration i will be 0 here the okay this kind of function reads the value from the user and store it in x of 0 so assume that i have entered user have entered 1 so that 1 is came into x of 0 for the first iteration and now it will i plus plus and uh, for second iteration i will be 1 and it reads the value from the user and it stores in x of 1 so this this will be continued until i must be less than or equals to n minus 1 so similarly we will read the y values and this for loop is for reading the y values assume that we have entered the n, n value as 6 and uh, we have read the values of uh, x and we have read the values of y and stored it in uh, x and y array this for loop is for calculating the values of summation of x, summation of x square, and summation of y, and summation of x y. So here, uh, initially we have initialized that uh, i equals to zero, and this for loop will be executed until i must be less than or uh, equals to n minus one. So here, sum x equals to sum x plus x uh, x of i. So now for the first iteration, i will be zero. So x of zero will zero is uh, one. So and we have also initialized that sum x equals to initially equal uh, sum x is equals to zero. So zero plus x of zero, x of zero is one. So sum x is already initialized zero. So zero plus uh, one is one. For the first iteration, summation of x value will be one. So now next interpret. So okay, sum x two equals to sum x two plus x of zero into x of zero. So x of zero is one. Here one into one plus summation of x2 we have initialized uh, it as initially uh, 0 so 0 plus 1 into 1 1 so for the first iteration sum x2 will be 1 so now sum y equals to sum y plus y of 0 so y of 0 is 6 sum of y we have initialized it as 0 so 6 plus 0 equals to 6 so for the first iteration of this for loop sum y will be 6 so now sum x y equals to sum x y plus x of 0 into y of 0 so y of 0 is 6 x of 0 is 1 so 6 into 1 it will be 1 and initially we have initialized it uh, sum of x y as 0 so 0 plus 6 into 1 will be 6 so for the first iteration sum x y will be 6 so now i will be incremented and i will be now for the second iteration i will be 1 and i is less than or equals to n minus 1 so it will be entered for loop will be entered and next now sum x equals to sum x plus x of 1 so x of 1 now it is 2 and here sum x is now 1 so 1 plus 2 
for the second iteration it will become 3 sum x2 equals to sum x2 plus x of 1 into x of 1 so x of 1 is 2 so 2 into 2 plus sum x2 is 1 so 2 into 4 4 plus 1 it, for the second iteration sum x2 will be 5 so now sum y equals to sum y plus y of 1 so y of 1 is 4 4 plus sum y is 6 for second iteration sum y will be 10 and now sum x y equals to sum x y plus x of 1 into y of 1 so x of 1 is uh, 2 and y of 1 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 and uh, sum x y is 6 so 8 plus 6 it will become 14 for the second iteration the summation x y value will be 14 so now this process will be continued until i must be less than or equals to n minus 1 once this condition is uh, broke down it will come out of for loop there is a formula for a and b i wrote i have written this formula for a and b here so it will calculate the based on these values it will calculate uh, a and b so that's so it will print the values of a and b in the equation form 